Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do a mid-October reading for the sign of Pisces. Sorry, all Pisceans, that it's a little late, but better late than never. <laughs> Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info is in the box below. If you want to learn tarot, my tarot card classes consist of five videos plus a bonus video. From now until the end of October, the whole set will be $80 instead of $20 a piece. Uh, also, my mystery healing boxes that are absolutely gorgeous. I have the new hexagon box. It's got a glass top to them. They bring out all the highest properties and, qual and qualities of your crystals and stones. Um, I do personalize them, so if there's a particular color or theme you want, give me a shout. Also, Life Path readings are going to be $35 from now until the end of October. And um, going back to personal readings, I do them either over the phone or I do them um, in a private video sent to you by email. I do half hour and hour readings. There, that's out. All right, Pisces, let's see what's cracking lacking with you from now until the end of October. Hmm. Hmm. Pisces, in order for things to change, for the positive, you got to see something from a different point of view. And that will make something go easier for you. All right, let's get it. Bottom of the deck. Okay. Pisces, you have the Six of Cups. Now, this could mean children, but it's also nostalgia. Fondly thinking about the past. And that's all nice and good, Pisces. Past is past. Either you gotta move on from it and learn from it. Don't make the same mistakes. Or well, Pisces, you gotta let it go. So let's get into it. Pisces, we're gonna start off with the major arcana, Wheel of Fortune, aka comma. But when you're on the bottom of this wheel and the wheel's always turning, Things start happening for you. Things start going into place. You know, might even think you're on a lucky streak. And what's causing the help or hinder, Pisces, is that you have the hanged man, but coming from this direction, it's a reverse. Now, in the upright, this is being stuck, stagnant, feeling like you're not moving forward or backwards, but seeing something from a different point of view. Seeing something from a different point of view, Pisces, gets you unstuck. And here's the challenge. You know, you might be looking at life situations in a friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of those ships. And Pisces, this could be the energy coming from you or coming at you. But now you need to change things because you see something in a different light. Through somebody else's eyes, a different point of view. And you got to put it into practice. Yeah, you know, things happen in the past, good or bad. When we see the error or how we could have done something different, you know how to correct it if it ever comes again. You treat it different, Pisces. And that's when you're turning the wheel, that's when things start working for you. Because in your foundation, you get the three of swords. This is heartbreak, disappointment. And this might be killing your optimism. Do you know what I mean? Or your ability to see something from a different point of view. Past hurts, past pains. Oh, that never worked out. Okay. But try seeing it differently. And then something does work out, Pisces. 
I'm hearing you labeled it. You know, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. That's, you gotta look at that different, Pisces. Because your crowning card here is the Five of Pentacles. It's not Five of Pentacles, it's gonna be Five of Wands. And there might be some association with that. This is petty arguments, gossip, secrets, lies. Can be some jealousy here. Not seeing eye to eye. Not being on the same page with someone. And remember, them you. It's because you refuse to see something differently. Pisces. Just, you know, put yourself in their shoes for a moment. And if this is, you know, them, they need to do the same with you. It's the only way that you see something from a different point of view and move on from it. Understand it. Do something different. Pisces, if something from the past comes back, the challenge is to look at it differently. And then you'll handle it differently. Now, in your recent past, you have the Five of Swords. Now, here is conflict. It's the second five. This, I always feel, is a little bit more severe than this. Because this can be hurtful words. Hitting below the belt. But I'm using the Hanson Robert deck here. And in this Five of Swords, <laughs> enough is enough. He's got the two swords. He will pick up the two swords on the ground. And that fifth sword is like drawing the line. It goes no further than this. Making it known. Putting up the barrier, Pisces. It's very standoffish energy. And if you're squabbling with somebody and can't get eye to eye, either this is you or somebody else saying, I'm not even going to talk about this anymore. Done. Don't bring it up. Pisces, if that's your energy, lighten up. Because you got to see something from a different point of view. Period. The end here. And if that's your energy or the energy you're dealing with, you got to come at it differently. Pisces, you will get no, nowhere fast, I'm hearing, or no production in moving something forward if you don't see something from a different point of view or what you're dealing with doesn't. Because going into your future, you have the Page of Pentacles. Now here's a messenger of the sea here, taste, touch, prove things, the things that have worth and value. Love, respect, honesty, dignity, truth. All pentacles, Pisces. Important ones. If you or somebody else could value the other person or give something valuable to the situation, don't turn a blind eye to it. Now how somebody in the situation sees you. Pisces, they see you as the King of Pentacles. Now here is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy, or somebody who takes on these properties. This person likes to have material things, but knows all the hard work that goes into acquiring them. They're grounded, practical, methodical. They don't sugarcoat anything. They see something of how it really is. They're easy to talk to when they're grounded. Approachable, Pisces. And if people are looking at you like you're approachable, they can talk to you. You'll understand them. That's what you got to do. And I'm hearing half the battle is won when you are seen as approachable. Not this way. Certainly not that way. Because in your environment, Pisces, you have the Ten of Wands. 
And this is taking all your experiences, all your know-how, all those heavy burdens and everything that lays heavy on your shoulders and moving forward with them. This guy takes a couple more steps. He can drop them all. It's a heavy load to carry. It's a lot, Pisces. And either you or somewhere or someone in your environment feels like they're carrying a lot. Compassion goes a long way at the pentacle. I think that's what's being called here. Because in your hopes and in your fears, Pisces, you have the nine of swords. This is sleepless nights, agony, thinking about something over and over and over again and getting no resolution. Anxiety. of fear. Pisces, if you can't get through to somebody, or somebody can't get through to you, you got to take that grounded approach. And this is going to be something different, Pisces, than what you've done before. You've changed. With every experience that anyone has, it changes them, but take the experience as a good experience and be smarter and wiser and better from it. Pisces, you're a very intuitive sign. And when your emotions, you know what I mean, run high, get control of them. I think that it will come to you. How to look at something differently. And when you look at something differently, you'll do something differently. Because Pisces, your outcome card, is the page of wands. Now here's a messenger to put something in motion. Look, he's giving a shout out. Hey, here it comes. <laughs> it's to move on something, to get the ball rolling. Put something in motion here, Pisces. And if what you have to do or put in motion, okay, to see something from a different angle and get something moving and get past something here, compassion. I think it's going to go a long way. So no more standoffishness. Be that king of pentacles and be that approachable person. Because I think you might get some insight that will help you not worry or stress. But Pisces, put something in the right direction. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.